Chester Beattie was born in New York in 1875. He went to Columbia University. He graduated and with $200 in his back pocket, he went to the Wild West to start mining and to make his fortune. He came back with, as a young millionaire, lived on Fifth Avenue and then decided to move out of America to London. In the 1950s is really when Beatty makes his mark in Ireland. He decides to relocate completely uh, from London, bring his uh, artworks with him, his family, um, but at this stage he's, he's a 70 year old, 75 year old man, so he's retiring to Ireland in effect. The Chester Beatty Library is an unusual collection. Everything here has been vetoed, if you like, by Chester Beatty. He has sourced everything and what he was after was the rarest of the rare. And in cultures throughout the world, when somebody wants to honour the deity or the, the, the supreme being, basically the artist is going to give his all and create the most magnificent uh, work of art that they can do. So in many cases, the finest books are in fact religious books, but that wasn't really the main reason why Beatty collected them. He collected them because of their beauty not for the religious content. We are the largest collection of Islamic manuscripts in the entire Western world. We have hugely important collections from China, from Japan, from Southeast Asia, and in many cases we have Europe's finest collection of these items. We are one of the top three institutions in the world for the earliest copies of the New Testament. The earliest copies of St. Mark's Gospel is here. The earliest copies of St. Paul's letters are here. We get about a quarter of a million visitors a year and it's almost 50-50 split between locals and uh, tourists. Of the tourists, naturally, we would have a large amount uh, would be Americans and British. They're the two cultures that really relate to Chester Beatty and what he was doing. We may be small, but what we have here are the rarest. You'll never see the like anywhere else.